I want to get to Derek Rose because he called into the Stephen A. Smith show and had this to say about the Basketball Hall of Fame. Take a listen. To talk on the Hall of Fame thing, I am a Hall of Famer in everybody's eyes, but to the people that I grew up with, mm -hmm. like I made it, I executed, I got to where I was at. I've been having these same expectations I have now. They were thrown on me in sixth grade. I achieved all that. I got through all that. Hmm. Rose is a former MVP, by the way, right? And of the current 34 MVP winners, 23 of them are eligible to be in the Hall of Fame. 23 of them are in the Hall of Fame. So we haven't yet had a guy who's come up mm -hmm. who was an MVP who didn't make it. And he's sort of the question mark. And I do want to say, by the way, the distinction he makes is a really good one, I mean, right? Because right? we all know where he is from mm -hmm. in Chicago. And first of all, making it past being 12 years old is an accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Making a pass being 18 is an accomplishment for everyone who's been able to mm -hmm. do that. And then to go out and not only deal with the injuries that he's dealt with, come back the way he came back, especially what he was able to do in the last year or two, really is remarkable. And dealing with some of the other issues that Jackie McMullen has detailed, right, that, that he has dealt with. So I think all of that stuff is really notable. But, I mean, does his on-court play get him into the Hall of Fame? The basketball Hall of Fame, no. The life Hall of Fame, absolutely, his first ballot. And because it's two different things. One is just the, the situation he grew up out of and to be alive and to be productive and, and uh, a role model to other people, that's one thing. The other, obviously, is his, his basketball life story, being an MVP and then having it all taken away and fighting to come back in the last year we see him be kind of closer to what we, we remember him as. But the reality is, we said 23 eligible 23 in and of those 11 10 of them are all going to be hall of famers why because beyond their mvp season there were multiple seasons of high level uh production he just doesn't have enough it's a shame it's sad but i mean i i don't i don't think that just because he's an mvp it's a rubber stamp you're in you kind of have to put in five six seven years of that kind of dominant play that we saw all those guys on that list have i mean he gets hurt, and then he does have a few other good seasons where the Bulls make some deep playoff runs, but he was really never the same once he started having those injuries. I think it's a kind of borderline. I, I mean, I, I, honestly, like, my first reaction was like, uh, but he he really did have that kind of talent. If anything, I, I, I'll draw in another sport, another Chicago-based sport, but, like, like, sometimes when people get hurt earlier in their career, people take that into consideration when they're voting on the Hall of Fame and when they're deciding on it. So like maybe like a Gale Sayers type, right? Like that's, that is a, a, an interesting parallel with him, right? Cause it hurt early, never the same, but like Derek and the Bulls did have some pretty deep playoff runs in the Eastern Conference. But there, there are two names. If I'm Derek Rose, I'm thinking about Ralph Sampson mm -hmm. and I'm thinking about Bill Walton. Mm -hmm. Those are guys yeah. who have Bill Walton, MVP, mm -hmm. uh, finals MVP. But if you look at his career, it wasn't that long in the NBA, but yeah. Bill Wallen also had UCLA, yep. and Ralph Sampson also had Virginia. And, and yep. that's the part where I don't know how the, because we don't know who votes or what they mm -hmm. vote on. That's the funny thing about the Basketball Hall of yeah, Fame. Right. So. Yes, and then, by the way, that's a good point, because it is the Basketball Hall of Fame, not the NBA Hall of Fame. So you talk about college, mm -hmm. obviously the careers of those guys. Vlade Divac, who was just inducted, right? Well, he's an international obviously committee. Obviously has the international, but yeah. that's the point, is people are like, wait, mm -hmm. he's not a Hall of Famer. Look what he did in the NBA. And they're like, wait, yeah. it is the Basketball Hall of Fame, and there is an international component. Mm -hmm. Derek doesn't have that side of that either. He didn't have, so I, I just think... I would have to say, if it falls on one side or the other, I would predict he doesn't get in. Yeah. But to your point, we don't know who votes or what they vote on. Or what on. they vote on. So That's we'll just crazy. Have to see. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN Plus.